We've all seen the models on the runway and on the covers of glossy fashion magazines like Vogue and Marie Claire, but let's take a look at what's behind the business of fashion. Fashion shows aren't just about how great models look in new designs. It's a chance for designers to showcase their clothes to buyers. I think for us, um, our fashion shows are a great time to get the press together with our actual buyers. Um, and then we often are talking to our buyers during the show and finding out what they like or what they're like really excited about to see in our showroom the week after. But it's, it's a great way to sort of take the, the idea or the theme of the season and present it in a sort of consolidated period of time. There's definitely some dresses that you will see that go down the runway which will organically retail for $800 or $1,000 and we, we leave the runway and they're, they're ready priced and ready to go. There's other dresses that, um, for example, our Newman Marcus buyer will say, I love that dress, give me a version of. And then it's a little bit of work to go back. It's usually changing up the fabrics. It's often European, very expensive fabrics. And then a lot of handwork and the beading and embroidery and it's finding the mood and the feeling of what we've done on the runway and trying to get that down to a better price point. People get excited, they want to see what's happening, and then they start shopping. Fashion Week is a key part of the business strategy to get clothes in stores. It's a costly spectacle produced from dozens of designs created in the showroom. Yeah, there's nothing more boring than a beautiful dress that just lives in the closet, you know what I mean? That's uh, Or lives in our warehouse. Yeah, exactly. That's worse. You know, we scour the world for beautiful fabrics, and that really is what always inspires us each season sort of which direction we go with the collection. I mean, the fabric is probably one of the biggest expenditures when we're developing the collection. Our fabric budget is kind of high. We use fabrics that are everywhere from $3 a yard to $300 a yard. A beaded price on a gown could be $25,000. Because of the cycles of the industry, you know, we're forced to look at fabrics like a year in advance before we actually start working on that particular collection. There's certainly no shortcuts. I mean, it's a methodical process. That's where the creativity sort of kicks in. We kind of go into the showroom knowing some of the pieces they love. I think for us, we're really organic about what we do. We let the designers design what they want to design. This has gorgeous 3D flowers with hand embroidery and beading in it. Really, each flower, I think, takes somewhere around four to five hours to do, and there's something like 35 flowers on that dress, so that'll be part of our couture division. Um, and that'll probably range somewhere around $5,000. And all these dresses, are they made here in New York? Or um, are they made mo most of them are made Most of them are made in New York. We do some production overseas, but the majority are made in New York. Okay. Um, but all of our couture is made in New York. I think the designers like the ability to kind of go and during the production part, go and check on it and make sure that everything's to their liking and you know every beat's perfect. So we're kind of involved in the production process as well for couture because everything is so ornate and detailed oriented. There's not an actual sales strategy, it's really a creative process and organically it turns out that there's a lot of different price point clothes that go down the runway so it reaches different retailers. There's great specialty stores and I think you get a lot of feedback from them as well. I think stores that have been around for a while and have owners that are coming to the shows, coming to market appointments and are on the floor really have a good pulse of what's happening so the buyers can change in department stores so I think really creating a relationship with the management and having an understanding of like what your brand means in that store is important. Buyers change or anything changes, you sort of have a, a set um, place in that store already. Because we do have a worldwide business, there's um, definitely preferences within the different uh, countries. For example, we have a really strong following in the Middle East, and I would say they love elaborate and beautiful. When they're going to a wedding, they want really the most beading, the most expensive fabric. They love big ball gowns. Sometimes the U.S. is a little simpler. I think that the way we dress is perhaps simpler than in other regions. I always say that when it goes down the runway, there's always a waiting list before it even gets to the store, which is really yeah. exciting. We live in a new digital age where at the press of a button, people can seek out their favorite designers and clothes. So is it still worth spending money on an expensive show that lasts just 10 to 15 minutes? Shows are exhausting. As James says, they're very disruptive. They cost a fortune. But it truly is, we've always thought, the best bang for the buck. Designers look at it as a necessary evil. It makes us feel validated as a company and as, as designers. So that's, why, that's one of the reasons why we do them. So for us, it's, it's incalculable. Unfortunately, you know, it's, you're not just sitting in your ivory tower sketching pretty dresses, you know. Especially in this day and age, you know, it's a ruthless business. You have to really sort of focus on all aspects of the business to be successful. 
designers will pull out all the stops for Fashion Week, even if it costs them a fortune, because the show is how they get their clothes in stores near you. Love it. 